Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer on this Tuesday the 16th of June 2020 and it's lovely that you've joined us this evening and today as we did this morning we remember Richard the Bishop of Chichester and Joseph Butler the Bishop of Durham and philosopher. So as we draw towards the end of our day let us spend this time in worship. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our law, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together that evening hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. Our Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening is psalm number 143 and the refrain is Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring, out, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion. When you are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
we say together the Nunctimitis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Holy One, you have brought us through this day to a time of reflection. Make us wise in our understanding, open in our listening, generous in our giving, and vulnerable in our sharing. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring to you all that has taken place today, conversations that we may have had, people that we may have met, be it at work, bumped into in the street, through a phone or an email. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for those who have asked for prayer for this evening. For those who are unwell. For those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. We pray to you, O Lord, this evening. That you may protect them. And attend to them. And for all those who look after. Those that may be ill or struggling, for those who may feel lonely, isolated, vulnerable. We lift them to you, O oh Lord. It is night after a long day. What has been done is done, and what has not been done has not been done. Let it be. Let us be still in the presence of God. Let the quietness of God's peace enfold us, and let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, and new possibilities. Amen. And now for our collect. Most merciful Redeemer, who gave to your Bishop Richard a love of learning, a zeal for, soul, for souls, and a devotion to the poor, grant that, encouraged by his example, we may know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day who with the Father and the Holy Spirit are alive and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless us in our sleep with rest, in our dreams with vision, in our waking with a calm mind, in our soul with the friendship of the Holy Spirit, this night and every night. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening, and please do so for morning prayer at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, and then again Compline tomorrow evening at seven. Wherever you may be, God bless you. And keep safe. Good night for now. Bye-bye.